I got a chance to sit down with the current king of Mumbatone. You guys know him as Matias. He's dropping a new single today. Make sure you go in the description and get the link for that. Download it, free download. But this is a full interview, questions of my own and from the fans of who is Matias. Yeah, yeah! So here we are. This is another episode of Mumatone Deconstructed. And we have the reigning king. I crowned him. The king of Mumatone right now, <laughs> Matias. How are you doing, bro? I'm doing great, awesome. bro. Thank you. <laughs> Here's the first question. Where does Matias' music journey begin? Where did music start for you? Damn. A long time ago, bro. I've been making music since like, 10 years ago not for now from now and it all started with with the curiosity of how to make music you know i mean music always been present in my life since my dad is like a super music fan rock fan classic rock fan i learned how to play guitar at a young age oh wow and uh, then it all turned it into electronic music <laughs> nice started uh, making like big room things and shit thanks to one friend he showed me like you can you you have to hear this and I, and I was like what is that like he was like this is mumbaton and, and shit is like edm with reggaeton shit i was like oh, let me hear it and that's how i fall in love with the general since the nice since the first listening, and then discover artists from from the general like Munchi, like you, like etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All the all the kings at the time, you know. Yeah. And, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um. So, what artists do you think is like what uh inspired your style when you first started out? Like, who was the who was the one that was like, oh, I, this is what I want to sound like. This is what I want to learn from. Like, the one and only. <laughs> yeah, the the, like, big hair, man. Hearing, hearing the the Diplo and Friends mix he did just blew yes. my mind at, at the very beginning. You know? Hell yeah! So that's that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one for the culture, man. Everybody was yeah. just like, oh shit, this is it. You know? That was no, inspiring, it, man. It wasn't only Mumbaton, you know? It, yeah, it the, yeah. It was a whole fucking mix of everything into his style. That was crazy. From bachata to chuk to Mumbaton to fucking bubbling, everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, the, the, the trap stuff too as well stuff, yeah and he did it his own way that was like the biggest thing it wasn't like what everybody else was doing it was his Today, style bro, like, you can you can still hear it the, the mix it's like bro this motherfucker was living in the future back then <laughs> i feel you like know? that's what we always say about him how he waits so long to put things out and strategic it's just because he could see the future yeah. <laughs> that's what it is he knows what's going to happen. He knows when the time is right. We think he's hiding. He's just waiting for the moment. That's all it yeah. is. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. So yeah, how, much do you, how much do you feel um, your cultural background is like affects the way you make music? Because uh, I hear it. I hear it in your percussion. I hear it in your drums. I hear it in like, you know, your, your sound choices. I hear it. So I'm wondering how much of that is a big influence on you. I mean, I'm I'm super perfectionist, you know. Like sometimes that that is not like the best you can do, because mm -hmm. oh, you know, you you can never finish a song though. It's finished until you are like, I don't know, like you are good with the results at the time, you know. But hundred percent being like that makes me like forced me to to put a lot of details 
sometimes it's not it's not like too much you know but but as simple as it, it can get it can help me no but I yeah hear you i hear yeah. it in your style it's very like particular you're like you know like the placement of certain drops and even like the smallest sound you could tell like it's there for a reason you know it's not just like all oh, filler you know you're placing things in there for a reason that's what i really love about what you do yeah. It's like it's very in, it, there's intention in everything that you're doing. It's for a reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's fire. That's fire. So, <laughs> what do you think is like the best advice you've gotten from another artist that like helped you on your production journey? Just like with you, I had the the opportunity to to share the studio with Monchi and in, in Los Angeles back in the day, and it was a whole lot. Of, new experience for me you know yeah and simple advices he gave me helped me to the till this day and put it on practice you know like has made me being what what i'm uh, what i'm right now you know yeah and advices like less is better um Try to change the the structure every time, so even, and like make changes every certain time. You know, like yeah. keep the keep the track like interesting. Give the people something that they don't expect. You know, I love that. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you could tell it's like that's, <laughs> that's definitely that's like the definition of what you do. You know, like <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome, man. So what's your workflow like? You start with drums, you start with melodies, sample, like where do you start? What's typical for you? <clears throat> it depends on the song. Sometimes I I, I start by making the, the leads or chopping shit out and turning samples into a whole new song. Or starting by making drums, making a, a good a good beat and then putting the the, the scenes over the 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 beat and shit but yeah mm -hmm. it, depends. it depends definitely it depends now do you have a uh, presets or templates set up like you have like a go-to folder of drums or something like that or do you start fresh yeah i start fresh start fresh from zero <laughs> yeah yeah i feel that i feel that I, I have so many sounds that like i sometimes i don't organize it so but like it's yeah. good and bad because it's like i don't get stuck doing the same thing it feels like a new experience every time um, yeah exactly that's how oh, I yeah. do too <laughs> so do, do you have any um go-to plugins that you're using like that you know you're going to use every time or your favorites right now nothing too crazy um i use this a, a lot of come i'm sorry uh come crusher I, I use it a lot mm -hmm. that distortion is uh, it, it's like unique for me um and I just go and try the same shit every time. <laughs> <laughs> Something I do too, too much is like turning a sound into uh, another sound. I like that. Like using sounds that already exist, but turning into something different every time. That's what That's I do a lot. But, but I do that by even pitch it, pitch it down or chop it, chop it up the, the sample distortion can change a lot of a, a sound and plugins like like probably like like manipulator or little art art boy some mm. those are my go-to favorites <laughs> nice hell yeah and, yeah um how much does micro sampling play into your sounds? Like I, in your tracks, I always hear like a little, like little chop here and there of, of different, like either vocal chop or instrument chop. Like you do a lot of micro sampling. I hear in your stuff. Like how important is that? Yeah. To me, it's super important because like I said before, it, you can give to the audience something that they don't expect. Mm -hmm. Every single time, the tiles or in the changes, every four bars or something like that, you can hear. Yeah. That's something I, I like to do too much. 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So the Matias 2024 mix, amazing, bro. Amazing. You blew our minds. It was so fucking good. You have so many songs. How do you balance oh. like music, life, family, work? Like, how do you balance all that? Because you have so much music, you know? Yeah, I know. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. But uh, it depends on the workflow, bro. Like, sometimes I just finish a song in like less than a day. Or mm. if, 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 if it's not finished yet, at least I have like a playable version. And that's something I do for the mixes. This this one is the third the, the third mix I did. So from the very beginning, I was playing like even if, if the tracks haven't been finished yet, I use the, the playable versions and mix it on on the mix, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that. I've done that too. I feel that. And that's how it goes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, okay, gear. I know you are KRK Rocket guy. <laughs> Do yeah. you use headphones as well or are you just on KRKs? No, just on KRKs. I, I only use headphones when I go to the street. or But, but I don't do that too much. I just make mm -hmm. it in my home. I like to be in my, my spot, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about the new track. The new track you're releasing here. I no, I I waited up until I was about to talk to you to listen to it. I I didn't know which one it was, and then when as soon as I heard it, I was like, "Oh, this is one of my favorites!" So I'm so happy with that one. So tell me about that. Like, how long did this track take to create? Like, what was the inspiration? Tell me about this song and why why you're putting it out for your birthday. Yeah, this one. This one is an old idea I have. Uh, I did it for the mix. Mm -hmm. But the the idea already existed like long time ago, but but for, for some reason I I just leave it there in the hard hard drive. And if I'm not wrong, I I, I think I did that that idea for the second mix, but never mm -hmm. never finish it. And then the original idea was, I think it was at at ninety five BPM. It was, mm. like a, it was like a slower ba version with the chop the the drop the the vocal chops are they they was like a little bit different before mm -hmm. and then for this mix i i was like going through my project folder <clears throat> and found this idea and i was like oh shit <laughs> why did i miss this <laughs> that's awesome and started working on it again and with the tempo at, at 108 and wow. that's how it started again i finished yeah. on mix it the, with mix it with elements from dembo from republic at the from, from rd <laughs> mix it from elements with dembo from mambo and baton baton shit and that's how how it turned it that way <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah man that's what's up yeah. so now in 2024, okay, you one of the guys is making like really, really forward thinking movements home. Like, you, uh, we'll make a list. It's like you, Ice Cream, Washi, you know, a couple other guys making really, really cool stuff. So, how do you feel like about like the new, the, the sound of movements home as of right now? Like, how do you feel about it? Because you definitely got me inspired, like to, yeah, to start creating you. stuff again. You know, like yeah. it's cool. You know, like I just, I just wanted the the, the Jenner to keep alive to still be alive you know yeah and being and help maybe feel that future for it or being part of it you know i think yeah, it's important. I, feel, I feel super super happy with with all these people making dope music you know making inter interesting things hell yeah that's, that's what i'm happy about <laughs> <laughs> all right so from and now I'm going to say from the first EP I've heard you, that was the Mis Solerados Mis Sol EP. Yeah. All the way up to Tranquilo. And then Matias Mix 2024. Like, how you, how much do you feel like you've grown and learned as an artist? Because, like, I remember hearing your first EP when I got it from a promo from Munchi, and I was like, 
what the fuck? Like, where did this guy come from type of shit? And then following you up to now, I've seen, like, the growth and evolution. Like, how much do you feel like you've grown as an artist? Like, Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, A lot of practice, man. Like, that's how you see the results. If you have, if you want to to be better at something, you just have to have discipline or stay focused on what what you want. From there, the results just start shining by themselves. Hell yeah! That's everything. So, that's the key. <laughs> that's what's up. So, what is your favorite song right now? Like, whether it's from yourself or somebody else, it doesn't have to be Mumatone. Like, what what is something that you're listening to that's like? This is my shit right now. <laughs> uh, from artists like Fred again, like Skrillex, you know, mm, but a big name. Yeah. Uh, artists like right now, like artists, one of my favorite artists is, is ISO EXO. He's making mm -hmm. crap shit again, but making it like now different how it was, but cooler, I think. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I hear a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Uh, I can tell you a, a certain song, but I have a different cool artist right now. Okay, that's good. I like that. I like that. All right, so how do you feel about um, AI right now? Like, you see all the AI websites and the programs come in and uh, type in, and you have a whole full song. Like, how do you feel about that right now? Like, what does that mean to you? I mean, if you use it, if you use it to help your your creativity, I mean, it's all good, you know, but depending all on the AI is like kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of- I feel like in the past year, it's gotten so advanced yeah. from like generic to now full on song with vocals and lyrics and stuff. And get a stems, it's cool for, for get a stem separation or maybe for vocal sampling and shit. Mm -hmm. but to use it that, to make you a full song, <laughs> it's, <kinda> crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. crazy, man. I've been finding using it for um like creating salsa, merengue, bachata, like from scratch. Mm -hmm. So that way I can just go in there, sample it, apply it to my own stuff and shit. Yeah. So that's been like my experience with it, but it's it's come very far, very very far in quick time. Yeah, it's yeah crazy exactly. quick time. Imagine how it's going to be in the future. Like, oh, forget be. it. <laughs> <laughs> forget it, man. Um, I have okay, so I'm going to ask you quick questions. Go to bass. What is your go to bass? I already probably know the answer, but in uh, I use in FL. Williams a lot. I use, I don't know if you know, but already if you know, you know, I use a lot of stuck plugins, yeah, and um, to make my bass. I use a lot of 808, 808s. It depends sometimes. I use I use Flex. Flex mm -hmm. is a BST, a native BST from FL Studio. Or sometimes I use use like the samples, the 808 samples, and mm -hmm. and using it like that. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Favorite tempo. What's your favorite tempo right now? Tempo? Yeah. Oh, tempo like to work on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Recently, I've been making like a lot of uh, one thirty. Nice. From one thirty to, I've been experimenting with with some, a lot of trap music and kind of techno type shit. Mm -hmm. But you know, the favorite though is gonna be like the one away. One away, hell yeah, man. <laughs> hell yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. What are you putting on your master chain? Yeah. Or is that like top secret? You can keep it top, top secret. secret. But it's nothing too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't focus, focus a lot on, on the, on the master chain. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I, I feel better by doing a, a, a good mix than resolving all the problems on the, on the master chain, you know? Yes. So what I do is like I I'm mixing how I'm doing the track. I'm working on the track and mixing it at the same time. And at the end, I just give a, a whole mix 
a proper mix to the whole song. Mm -hmm. And one once I am happy with the results, I just go to the master and just a little bit of help, you know, so nothing too crazy. Uh, just an EQ or and sometimes a limiter that helps the, yeah. the volume go up or yeah, nothing too crazy. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, they want me to ask you, are you ever gonna make Moomba Soul? Because they've been hearing a lot of Moomba Tone and other BPMs and they I do when have a, getting lot, a lot of Moomba Soul tracks. Uh, I think for this mix I just played one. That, mm -hmm. that inspired for my grandmother <laughs> but yeah nice. i have a lot of mumba so but yeah i, I hopefully you you guys can hear so. <laughs> <laughs> the fans are waiting they want to know um they want to know if you prefer uh audio files or midi mm, audio files mm. midi too but you know it depends audio files I mean, they are, they go by samples. I love samples, a lot of different Same. stuff, you know? Same. And MIDI, Same. MIDI is more for like melodies and some different stuff. But yeah, by using samples, you can go, you can do some crazy shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Okay. How do you get past the creative block? If you feel like you're stuck and like, what do you do to reset? I just stop making music. I mean, I love making music, no, but, you know, but the creative, the creative, the greatest block is like, it happens when you force, force you, your mind into work and work and work and work. It's, and once the inspiration goes away, I, what I do is like stop making music, listen to some different music, do some other shit. And then when I go back to make music, I, I'm starting fresh, you know? Hell yeah. That's what I do. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Um, uh, you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, man. That's what's up. That's what's <laughs> up. All right. Moonchi or Diplo? Yeah, Moonchi. All the way. Always. Yeah. Kendrick or Drake? That one is crazy, bro. Like <laughs> I, know. I mean, you already know the the answer. Right now is Kendrick, but yeah, fucking Drake made me buy a certified lover book shirt that I I'm not gonna have wear again <laughs> ever again. I but feel yeah, you, man. King Kendrick, <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, man. Hell yeah, King Kendrick, right now. So where do we see Matias in five years from now? Like where where does he go? I don't know. That that one's crazy, bro. Like, I'm just ready to whatever God's got for me, you know? I feel that. I put it all in, in, in his hands. <laughs> love that. Love that, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Those are all the questions. Those are mine and the community's questions. Yo, the track is fucking amazing. Love that shit. I can't wait for it to be out for everybody to hear and go and grab it, man. It's one of my favorites from your mix. Um... So we're going to wrap it up and say, yo, thank you for checking us out and, you know, taking the time to talk to us. Yeah. Fucking love what you're doing as always, bro. Big inspiration. And I'm here to support you however I can, man. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Of <laughs> course. Hell yeah.